In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the biggest myths in the world of weed. Indica versus Sativa. Now I'm sure we've all heard the same thing over the years. Indicas make you feel relaxed and tired, while Sativas make you feel energized and awake. Those labels were quite helpful when it came to understanding the ways that different strains were going to affect you. I think it's important that I explain what it actually means for your strain to be an Indica, a Sativa or a hybrid. Indica and Sativa are actually terms that come from how the plant grows. Indicas tend to be short, bushy and more compact, while Sativas are taller with narrow leaves. They also both come from different climates. Climates. Most true indicas trace back to cooler, mountainous regions of places like Afghanistan, India and Morocco, while sativas come from warmer, tropical areas like Thailand, Colombia and Mexico. So these labels are technically based on growth patterns, not how they make you feel. But somewhere along the line, people started using these terms to describe the effects, and that's where the confusion began. The main reason weed affects us the way it does is because of cannabinoids. These are chemical compounds found in weed that interact with your body's endocannabinoid system, which plays a huge role in regular in things like mood, memory, and pain. The two most well-known cannabinoids are THC, the stuff that gets you high, and CBD, the calming therapeutic compound. But there are also other cannabinoids like CBG, CBC, and CBN. CBG is actually known for its anti-inflammatory properties. CBC might help you with pain relief and mood regulation. And CBN is best known for its sedative effects. What's interesting about CBN is it's actually formed when THC degrades over time. That means older or improperly stored weed could have higher levels of CBN. The point is, it's not all just about THC. There are a number of cannabinoids that can make a difference in your experience. Terpenes are another critical factor and people don't talk about them nearly enough. It's mainly the terpene profile that's responsible for the type of feeling a particular strain is going to give you. For example, myrosine, which is found in a lot of indica strains, is meant to make you tired. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. My myrosine, my my myrosine, myros I don't, I don't know. I, I, I speak Geordie, so I, it's, it's, not, it's not an easy task for me. I do apologize, lads. Meanwhile, limonene, which is more common in sativas is known for its uplifting effects. There's also pinene which can boost focus and clarity. I think I need a bit more pinene to be honest with you. These terpenes are often found in varying combinations in different strains of weed. That's why one indica strain might make you feel sleepy while another could make you feel awake. Long story short, terpenes and cannabinoids are a lot more important than whether something is labeled indica, sativa or hybrid. Hybrids are literally everywhere nowadays. Pretty much most modern day strains are some sort of hybrid and these strains are exactly what they sound like, a cross between an indica and a sativa. But here's the thing, just because a strain is a hybrid doesn't mean it's 50% indica and 50% sativa. Some hybrids might lean more towards the relaxing effects of an indica, while others might have the uplifting properties of a sativa. Hybrids are where the lines really start to blur between the classic indica and sativa experiences. As opposed to a dealer down your street selling your bits of dog sprayed with god knows what, try and find a vendor who can give you information about the products that you're buying. We've all had them experiences with dealers where you're messaging them trying to learn about the strains, trying to find out what is what, and they're sat being ignorant on the phone, giving blunt replies, and it's like, bro, I want to do business with you, but you're giving me blunt replies, like, what do you want me to do? They're like, I'd rather be five minutes, and it, like, takes them, like, 45 hours, and it's like, okay, do you want to make money, or are you just kind of just doing this just as a joke sort of thing? It's pretty mad, isn't it? It's, like, the easiest job ever, and the majority of them are terrible at it. I'm a UK medical patient, and every bit of flour that I get comes with all of the information you'd ever need. So before I even buy a strain, I can see whether it's an indica, a sativa, or a high Hybrid. And that information feels a lot more genuine and trustworthy than a dealer down the street telling you he's got some knockout indica. The indica versus sativa labels are mostly a myth. They're outdated, oversimplified, and don't really explain how cannabis affects you. Next time you buy weed, make sure you research the specific strain that you're looking at. If you're with a medical clinic, I'm sure you'll be fine just ringing them up. If you're going to a dealer, I probably wouldn't ask them too many questions because you'll think you're a f***ing knock. Just make sure you take notes when you enjoy a particular type of strain so you know for future preference. If you found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you later, people.